Hi, this is Olajide from CTF Security and welcome to Under Construction, a thrilling web-based Google Capture the Flag security challenge that will test our skills in bypassing validation using HTTP parameter pollution. In this challenge, user can belong to different tiers such as red, green, blue, or even gold. However, the application only reveals the secret flag to those who log in as a gold tier user. Now here's the twist, the application validates user creation for the goal tier by explicitly stating that only the CEO can create such account. Now the question arises: can we break through the barrier and unveil the secret flag? So without further ado, let's get started. So welcome back to the challenge and as you can see from the screen right here this challenge is going to be a web-based challenge and we have the title right here under construction uh we have some information to aid our attack and it says we are building a web app but the new ceo want it remade in php and we have been supplied with two url the first one is under construction web dot dot ctf competition dot com the second is under construction php web dot ctf competition dot com and we also have a button here where we can download the source code of this particular web application so i'm just going to do that right away okay so uh i'm just going to rename this so let's remove this All right, so I'm just going to give it a name. Let's call it under construction. Uh, so I can choose a directory to save it. In this case, I'm going to save it in Google CTF directory inside my download directory. So I'm just going to click on save. So now we can move to the directory. We just downloaded the file to um, inside download. Google CTF, then we can extract the content of this under construction.zip. So extract here. And we can delete the original copy. All right, so inside this directory, we have two directories. We have the Flask directory and we have the PHP directory. So before we start to check out those source files, let's take a look at how the interface of our web application is. So I'm just going to add to the CTF. I'm going to grab the first link. Let's open this in a new tab. And let's grab the second one. That's the PHP application. And let's put this on a new tab also. All right, so we get um, a home button. We have um, login, we have sign up, and we have some information right here. Welcome, our app is currently under construction. Please feel free to log in or create an account and on the php application we have a login screen uh which requests for a username and um, also request for a password uh then a button here to submit the form data to the database um, now let's take a look at what we have on our source code now if we open the php folder we have some couple of files we have the css which is responsible for the styling we have the index.php which is responsible for the home page right here we also have the account migrator we have the account cleanup.php and if we head to the second directory which is the flask directory we also have some application files right here we have the unauthorized route.py we have requirements.txt we have uh, models authorized.routes app.py and we also have another interesting directory here called template inside the template we have um, some files that make up the home page of what you are seeing on the web 
application right here now we can begin to review some of this script that is present in this under construction file but so as not to waste much of our time i'm just going to be heading straight to the script that matters most now if you move to the php directory now we have an index.php which is the home page of this php application right here so if i open this open with a text editor now we have a script so let me just scroll this down and move it to the right all right so we have a script right here now if you take a look at this php application it has some html embedded in it with some form actions to validate users in this application now we're going to be taking a look at the php part of the program and from the php part we have about two function declaration we have the get response and we also have the get user tier function what this get response does is it kind of handle the login logic and return a response message based on the provided username and uh, password it checks if the username and password are set via post if they are not set it return null if they are set uh, it performs some further validations check and retrieve the user tiers now we don't actually have any information about what the user tiers are but if we scroll down we have um okay i think right here we have if the user tier is gold it append the value of an environmental variable called flag to the response message finally it returns the response message on the screen right here so now that we understand the program logic of this application uh, i'm just going to close this and um, let's close this also uh let's interact with this web application so i'm just going to try to create an account so let's go to sign up uh let's call it um charles uh password charles uh and if i try to select the gold account and i click on sign up so we see that we get a message saying uh gold tiers only allowed for the ceo go to login page so this is a problem we cannot register an account as a gold member and the only way to get our flag is if we log in as the gold member so what do we do next so what we can do is to check what is restricting us from creating a gold account now if we go into the file we just downloaded download google ctf the construction and if we go to the flask directory we have a particular file here called authorized route.py so i'm going to open this in a new tab new window rather so let's see what we have right here from this part of the code you can check from the line 56 we have a validation taking place using a conditional statement and it's saying that if the tier is equals to gold it should flash gold tier only allowed for the ceo so this is restricting us from creating a ceo account if you do not meet the criteria of the ceo the application will redirect you to the sign up page which is what exactly happened right here now what we can do in this scenario is to perform what we call http parameter pollution it is a technique whereby an attacker manipulate or add additional parameter in an http request to exploit vulnerability in the target now let's take a look at one scenario let's say let me open up my developer tool for this so we'll go to inspect and i just adjust this a little bit and let's go to the network tab so i'm going to try to fill this in so let's fill this again charles 
I'm going to create still create an account password Charles um tier we're going to select gold and i'm going to click on sign up don't save okay good so you can see that we have the 302 so let's take a look at what we have in the 302 now on the 302 if we go to the request you can see that the request we are sending, we are sending the Charles as our username, Charles as our password, and the tier to be gold. Now I can click on raw. Uh, so we have some basic parameters when this application is being sent to the database. We have first parameter to be username. We have second parameter to be password. And we have third parameter to be tier. Now, since we know that this application is not accepting a gold as a value, what we can do is to pass in multiple value to this particular tier parameter and see if this can confuse the application to log us in as the gold account. So let's perform HTTP parameter pollution. A very good application we can use for this is called the call so i'm just going to open my terminal and let's place this on the left uh, so we're going to pass call uh, the request we are serving is um, a post request and we're sending data i'm going to grab our data from here copy so we'll paste it right here in quote I'm going to close the code so we can add more value to the tier parameter. So we're saying I'm going to precede other tier that the program accept before the gold tier. So we're going to have red here and tier equals to blue and tier equals to green and um, tier equals to gold okay so we need to supply our url so i'll just add here to grab our url and we paste it right here so let's send this request All right, so we have, you should be redirected automatically to the target URL. So let's see if this works. Uh, we head to our application, PHP application this time around. Let's try to log in with the same credential, Charles. And uh, password to be Charles. And I'm going to log in. All right, great. So we can see our flag right here. So guys, that will be all for this video. If you like this video, make sure you like, subscribe. See you in the next video.